So we are in the Rheinhessen um, of Germany with uh, Das East Kein Orange, which uh, translates to, this is not orange, but it's in the Orange Club. <laughs> uh, and it has an orange on it. And it, uh, by our definition, is orange. So if you're into the art scene, it's like the whole sassy Nisbaum uh, peep, the this is not a pipe um, type of play on the on the orange wine here. Um, so it is very light in color, but it had eight weeks of skin contact. Um, it's a combination of, let's go my notes, uh, Moulin Turgau, I think mainly, a little bit of Riesling, Pinot Gris, Pinot Blanc, Saint Laurent. Um, is that right, Saint Laurent? Yeah, 5% Saint Laurent. Um, so this, producer, Schloss Mullenhoff, we have had several of his wines and we'll continue to have them because they make amazing variety. Um, and the vineyard has been in the family for, I don't know, like decades, like 150 years, I think is what I read recently. Um, so yeah, everything hand harvested, all of those grapes I just mentioned, put in a steel tank together uh, to macerate for eight weeks. So this is the color that we get, um, which, you know, it does have some extraction, but honestly, not as much as you would expect for eight weeks, which is probably why he gave it this name. Um, and I will say I have mine. This is the first one I'm doing. So it's a little bit probably more chilled than I would recommend. Um, but it is definitely like a lighter orange. So it's okay if you have it like full, full chill, just see how it develops. Um, so on the nose, especially on the top, it's very like Heart and like a little like sweet spiciness to it. Um, I don't know the exact. It's like a tangerine, maybe. Also, maybe like cinnamon or like baking spice or something like that up on the top. Uh, and then on the bottom, it's very citrusy. It's very like grapefruit, like a peachy, some sort of stone fruit there. So let's try it. All right, so the main word for this wine is zesty. It is zesty to the max in a very yummy way. So it's gonna do really well with food. And it does have a little bit of tannin. I can definitely feel the tannin. So there's your eight weeks of skin contact right there. It also has the phenolic bitterness, which is like kind of like the baby aspirin uh, on your tongue. So it has both of those things going on. So, but it's still like very acidic. It's balanced. Like it's yummy to drink by itself, but having all those qualities means that it's going to do really well with food. Um, before I get into food, let's talk a little bit about what's on the actual palate. So it even has, so it definitely, you know, tangerine, different types of citrus here, even like some kind of lemon, not just like a regular lemon, maybe like an overripe lemon or something like that. That's definitely in there too. Um, so as far as pairings go, I would say, I actually had this with a harvest bowl for lunch the other day and it was lovely. Um, so I put just like salad with uh, some roasted sweet potatoes, roasted uh, summer squash, things like that, uh, like little nuts and goat cheese. That was perfect. Uh, you could really go in a lot of directions with that. Um, if you're still doing different types of fish dishes, that would go with it, but don't do something super light. If you're going to do it with fish, do it with like a meatier one or something that has like a more aggressive sauce because this thing is ready to take on. <laughs> it's ready to fight a battle um, in a good way. So I think that it's just a really great example of, you know, how orange wines don't always have to look orange to truly be orange and taste uh, the way that you expect an orange wine to taste. So I hope you enjoy this one. I think it's a really lovely, easy drinking. Uh, and I hope that it kind of, you know, opens your mind to what orange wine can be.